All right, welcome to the case study, or case study, the recap of today. I was not feeling it today. Well, actually, during London, I was, and then I had this entire conversation with myself. It was a lot of self-talk, so I decided to stop trading during New York. And there was no setup during New York. There was one after one in New York, or after my time. As you can see. 1630, 1730, got that long there. Beautiful long. Initially, you could take a long from here that would end up break, even though this one hit one to five. Beautiful. Um, will I make a case study about that? No. Better watch this recap. I will recap the trade. Interesting how price reacts from this level. All right, bro, I'm so tired, but let's do it. No, I'm not gonna watch that. That's all distraction. This is distraction, distraction, distraction. Let me go to distractions. So let's go about it. <clears throat> so as we can see, we took our previous daily lows. And we closed quite strong, all oh, close. We still have one hour and 40 minutes left, so yeah. That's not a closure yet. We know where we are. We buffed these highs. After we took that liquidity, we got that push down. And then, oh, sorry. And last week, Tuesday, from there, we started to slow down. And then we got like some continuation, some little pullback. That pullback ended up with this wick. And now we can see strong bearish candle again, which didn't close yet, but might end up strong bearish. And we might see price come below these lows. For now, we are in this bullish range from this low up to this high. Um, this is pretty surprise section. Look at that. Down, up, down, not, not like this. So that's good. Um <clears throat> oh, sorry. With this, with this push up, we took up previous weekly highs and we did, still didn't reach the discount. So we might come up higher, but for now, we're still pretty strong to the downside. Same with this. Look at these candles. This is quite correctional and these pushes down are pretty strong. The news, oh, that's why oh, it broke. That's why I like the news on. Because, because you can see retail sales came very strong. What are retail sales? Well, retail sales is basically, um, how do you say that? I got it over here. Let's go. So the term retail, retail sales refers to an economic metric that tracks the consumer demand for finished goods. So basically, goods that are in the supermarket, the retail stores, food services the, those are the finished goods and they expect that 1.8 percent year on year where is it month on month where's year in here oh sorry month on month so last month they came way higher than expected and year on year they um previous one they expected a lower one it actually came came up way higher so not even not higher than uh, expected, but also higher than the previous one. The uh, and that might be the 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 re the catalysator. I don't know what the word is, but it might be the the news outcome price needed to push lower again. So that happened. What else? It happened today. No, not much. Yeah, Euro CPI on this. GBP inflation rate. Well, that's not interesting. All right. So, yeah, that happened. Coming into today, what happened? We 
And I have a previous daily high over here. We came down and then we start forming this bear structure. And we reached the discount of the bullish range. So therefore I was not favoring um, shorts, but we had this range on nonetheless. And I was looking for longs. So Why was uh, and I took a loss here? Unfortunately, it was a good trade. I was a bit impatient because now that the market is not giving that many opportunities the last three weeks or not the clearest opportunities, I tend to uh, or I want to enter from the minor breaks, which is not necessary. And the proof, the proof is over here that's not necessary, but. Yeah, let's just dig into it. Let's go lower and let's see what price did there. So we came below and we came into the discount of that bullish range we spoke about. And we have a one hour for value gap sitting over here from this low up to this high. A set I don't use for value gaps unless, unless, uh, previous daily higher low gets taken because that's a strong higher low and this was New York low previous daily low H low so liquidity to the death uh, sorry liquidity to the downs that was taken therefore was favoring longs and as you can see in the one minute we got a high low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low bullish break strong bullish break as well and I entered of the Frankfurt Open Week. I should stop. I might uh, stop trading during that. That little one minute. Just if I miss a trade, all right. But just don't do that. And uh, we had early buyers over here. Actually, where's that? Wait, we have got this high that led to low. So yeah, this was the early buyers. And I even got them pointed out. It's straightforward. And this is where the trade came from, took me out, and then we started to create very bullish order flow. And I was a bit skeptical with shorts over here, or with longs, because we had this bullish bearish range, or actually from this one, and we respected, uh, we came above here and respected this, so I was not sure. However, we took so much. Fuck. I hate being tired when I do cake and recaps. We took so much liquidity to the downside, so there's no, there's enough fuel to go to the upside. If you look at this, look at the trend line. That can all be taken. So really, longs should have been taken. And we got then, this is another set of early buyers, because I class this is bullish break, so this would be another set of early buyers. So now we have two sets of early buyers over here and over here. Even one over here, you got a, a high or a high that lets, leads to this low. So my class, this one as well as early buyers, but this one is the clearest, the cleanest. And then we got a bullish break. And then you can get an entry from the huge block over here. But that's way too big. The long trade would be, there you go. Actually, it's not even that big. 7.8. So something like this, if you want to treat properly. Just about, just about if you enter off the block. But that's that's horrible. And then you get your continuation trade, really, because you get your early sellers bullish break. And this is your continuation. Oh, let me use my clip. two hands. And this is your continuation trade. All right, so and that trade I should have taken. So that's being discussed. There was a short here as well. It's not interesting because that's based on minor breaks. I don't want to take minor breaks anymore. Just fuck off. I have to get it out of my head. From now on, it's 2126 on Wednesday, 15 February. When I trade my plan, I won't take any minor minor breaks. Only minor breaks, but not not, not like this minor. Like this is still minor. Why is this still minor? Because you know we're still in this bearish range, you know. So that's still a minor break, but yeah. So yeah, beautiful continua continuation trade in London open price over there. Good bullish. Where do we react from? We react from the 
the one real price from last Tuesday. There you go. Um, or last Thursday, sorry, my bad. And Tuesday. That's the only reason I can find here. And that lines up with our five minute PY that sits over here. And this area, very current thing, whatever it is. Five minute PY sits above the liquidity. So liquidity from this leg taken. Beautiful trend line taken. Coming to the discount of that leg or the premium of that leg. And then you got the five the five minute POI sitting over there. Fifty minute fair value gap, right? Yeah, tucked into the into that fair value gap. And price turns around. All right, turn this around, and we can see we have a, a low, a high, a high low, a high, a high bearish break. Um, we are in a discount or in a premium, so we can look for shorts. We get internal range liquidity being taken with the break, which is a bit annoying, a bit tricky, but knowing that we want to break bearish, it's decent, it's all right. So early, that was a point of internal liquidity. We got this short there. And if we go to the three minute, I guess. So three minute with breathing room, 93, text you in. Short trade. 93 is that right yeah so 88 and it's a clean stop loss not even that big 4.2 4.7 and then the five gets hit over here this achieves over there so that's another trade but outside of my trading time i was at the gym here so no need no rush to take that trade And then bearish, which is continuation trade from this order block. This is all mitigated. So it's either this one with breeding room. So this one with reading room would be 40. So you can just take this one. I'll keep this one for now. I know when to change the color, I'm too lazy. So this one, 40. And by doing that, I will just take this one to the bottom and take it from that line over here. And then put it above there. 3.3, 3.2. And again, beautiful trait. One to five gets it over here. So that's the continuation trait. Only if this lag reaches premium and it does. Um, this one does as well. Then you get this leg. This is a bit tricky because you get still liquidity to be taken. So I wouldn't look for shorts here, only for here. This leg didn't have any liquidity, so it's either from here or we come back up. And after we put bearish here, we never reach the premium again. We continue down. What can we see? We can see our early buyers so we came back into that five minute py that sits over here and we came below this low so it was initially looking for another long but we didn't have any early buyers yet so i was classing this as early buyers and we pumped down and that's why i decided all right news is coming out i'm done for today well actually after news there are some nice uh, setups and then we can see we this is what's our news low, and we're, how do you say it? 
and he was high. Pump down, taken out, and then continuation down. This was all expected. You could literally tell from the news that, all right, we get the spike down. We know that we'll take, be taken out. So that's one thing to read. Then we know that uh, the news is better than expected for the dollar, meaning that your euro dollar will continue bearish. So we knew that somewhere above this high, we would turn around and come down. So price cut in above here, respect of this order block that sits above this high. Press something over here. And we continue down. What price did we react from? I'm not sure. Might be Frankfurt open. Uh, we can do. By doing so, we had this high and low, lower high and lower low. Therefore, this bullish break could be classed as early buyers. Actually, I saw this area as well for longs, but I had the news and there was no, I think there was no PY over there. Yeah, we broke below this, and then we had this one and this one, and I was like, yeah, we're going to the extreme at least to take them out, because if you look at this leg, basically this is the only liquidity this leg has. So that will be taken out, right? And of course, right, what they price do, the magic trick takes out one low, I hope people watch this. I hope you I genuinely, genuinely hope you watch this because this, I've been talking about this now so many times. Come on. And it, it happens every time I'm on the charts. So, what does price do? We take out this low, we induce buyers into the market, and then we get to take the second low, and then we can react from the five minute PY. Yeah, come on. It's beautiful. Often, yeah, maybe you can trade it. And then we came down, got another set of early buyers. And this, oh, I remember why I didn't take this trade because there weren't, weren't no early buyers. This, oh, this was my early buyers, but it was after the news and news was able to push price lower. So I was not looking for trades here. Then we came down into the five minute PY, all internal range liquidity taker. Uh, we continue to have this this area over here or this range as you can see we never reached this count here or actually after we broke this low you can see that we never reached this count so we can come lower that's where we reach this count and we come up into the premium and actually after this break you can enter over here from the two minute taking the, the block this is the Oh, let me just show you. Two minute block. Reading room, like not even that much. Only need. Point two pip reading room. And then you get an ugliest trait. Okay. I'll trade from there. If you want a tree, you reach the premium, but internal range liquidity is still there. So therefore you can still look for longs. And then you get your beautiful break over here. So you get a high and low, lower high, lower low, bullish break entry from the one minute fair value gap and it gives you beautiful one to six. Oh, well, anyway, it gives you beautiful one to five. <laughs> And then respects this five minute PY over here and it turns bearish again and it continues down. Then it comes down. This could be classic really bearish like this. Take the buff entry from here. That's a nice trade, but not feeling the plan. Maybe split entry from this one and this one could be break. Could be, could be, could be. Anyway, yeah. And that's basically it. That's what happened today, the moves. Um tomorrow, I'm not sure. Honestly.
Now that we broke below these lows as well, price might continue down. Break bearish again. That's what I forecasted after this break because of the wick and the impulse down after. But that's it. Peace out. I'm tired as. <sighs> oh, that's crazy.